Hello, this is Gray Hughes. I'm doing an update on the Madison Bell case out of Greenfield, Ohio. I had the fortunate opportunity to speak to the Highland County Sheriff today with a deputy on the phone. It took me a while to work my way through the system there, but I actually spoke to the actual sheriff himself and we had a pretty lengthy conversation. I can't share the whole conversation, but uh, he did give me some new facts in the case that I found were very interesting. He said that the the vehicle of the uh, person of interest was parked at the church you know sometime before 920 let's say. Then the vehicle drove from the church just like this and then went to the corner market store or the county corner market store, the same place that Maddie was going to go tanning. He went in there and asked to buy something, but the clerks, uh, who actually remembered him being there, didn't have the item that he asked for, so he didn't purchase anything, and then he ended up driving back to the church parking lot. Now, he was here at 920. That's when he made that first trip, so he was already parked in the church parking lot, drove over to the county corner market, then he drove back to the church and parked in stall number one, okay? Then at around 10.08, Maddie's vehicle drives down. Now, she has two cars behind her, one car in front of her, as she approaches the driveway to the church. And then the car in front of her drives off, but she has to slow down because there's oncoming traffic. The two cars behind her have to slow down almost to a stop. Then she turns, and the two cars behind her just keep on going. So there was no entrapment there. There was nobody waving. There was nothing like that. She drives in and parks in stall number three. Okay, so right in that area. And we know when she parked the car there that the... Windows were rolled up, car was unlocked, keys were in the ignition, and her cell phone was found in the cubbyhole just in front of the gear shifter. The new information as well contains the fact that they were there for nine minutes because at 10.17, this white car leaves, drives out onto the highway here, Highway 28, Drives right by the county corner market and just kept on going. And they have no extra surveillance of that vehicle after it drove by. Okay, so what we found out was that the surveillance footage that we saw yesterday of the person of interest was actually before the other image that was released a few days prior of just the vehicle. And that image is the car about right here from this building okay and that's the last known sighting of that vehicle is from that surveillance camera so uh, i think this actually adds to the theory that madison drove here intentionally and there was a nine minute conversation was it this guy convincing her to go with him we don't know, but I think she got into his car willingly and they drove away from the church this direction. Now, did this guy have evil intentions after they drove away? We don't know. Okay, but there are there is information as stated in an article, some facts out there that maybe she left on her own. Okay, so that's where we're at now. That is the new information that was released. Uh, there was other stuff that we talked about in that conversation, but I, I can't share it. Okay, but uh, it was interesting nevertheless. All right, so that is it, everybody. And until next time, be safe out there.